Hello folks, Sunny D again. And wow, what a weekend. Um, and I'm not talking about the unfortunate political situation that we are in here in the US or actually anywhere around the world. Um, you know what, on that note, I'll put together a video talking about what my views are around the current political situation here in the US and the rest of the world, all that good stuff in a few weeks. But for now, let's get on to these toys. Now, this is no exaggeration. I've probably spent a good eight months researching the stuff that's in these boxes. And over the weekend, I finally managed to persuade the wifey and we took the plunge. And when I say persuade the wifey, that was a bit of a journey that I had to go through. It's not that the wifey doesn't understand why I'm investing in this equipment, but it's more around why it needs to be that particular product that I purchased. But anyway, that's a whole different story. We'll come on to that another day. So I've been a Canon man for many years and I have nothing bad to say about that range. It's superb. It does what it says on the box, if not more. Um, I've had a couple of cameras, a 5D, and I've got a couple of L-series lenses, the 24-70, 24-105, 70-200, and a couple of their prime Ls as well and they've been superb. Absolute workhorse, always worked, no issues, etc. But over the past year, I've needed something smaller, um, but also smaller with the capability of improved photography and especially videoing capabilities. Um, again, coming back to the research, I looked at the Canon range, looked at the new 5D world, looked at even the 1D space. Um, and while I was researching, I came across this, the Sony a7-2R. And upon readings, I don't know how many articles it was, but quite a few, it made sense to go and have a look at it and have a play around with it. So I did, went to my local electronic store, b &H Photo here in New York City, shout out to them because they're unbelievable. Um, but yeah, compared the Canon, the 5DS, the 5D Mark IV um, to this and this thing is unbelievable. It does what I need, it's smaller, but also it's a massive step up, as you can probably appreciate, between the 5D Mark II, which I had, to where we are now. And I took the plunge and went with this. So yeah, I'm seriously excited to get my hands on this. It's sitting on a box right now, and I've put together an unboxing video for you guys later. But for now, yeah. So what I did, I got the, the A7 II, as you can see. Got a couple of lenses. I've got the 24 to 70 G lens and the Prime uh, 35 um, 1.4. So looking forward to really putting these to use. Um, I've got a Sigma mount converter. Yes, I did keep some of my L series lens. The 70 to 200 Canon is superb. And if you've got it, you just simply just don't want to let it go. So it's always good to have extra toys in the bag, right? Um, and obviously some filters for the two new lenses. So. More to come on that, an unboxing video and a review in the next few days for you guys on that one. So yeah, really looking forward to going out and seeing what this can do. And actually, my future videos will all be on this. So yeah, let's see how that compares to the, the lovely GoPro. Um, the other thing, yeah, so the other gadget is the MacBook Pro. And again, did some research, not as much as I did on the uh, camera but a few years ago I made a decision that I no longer want to see the blue screen of death which is how would I put it typical with the Windows world so made the plunge and moved over to the Apple world and I will have to say in the seven or so years that I've been in the Apple um, environment for computing never had an issue no uh, restarts no errors no need for virus protection it's just it works so with that, we took the plunge and brought the MacBook Pro with the touch bar over the weekend and we maxed out the 13 inch um, machine to whatever they had. I think we've got a i7 3.3 chip, terabyte of data, 16 gig of RAM. Yeah, pretty much just select every option that was available to us. But looking forward to this because it's mobile and that's the main reason for getting um, a MacBook Pro. We've got an iMac, again, wonderful machine, does everything I need it to do. But when we're away and traveling, etc., it's always good to have a machine that you can do edit your work on the go. And you probably heard our little man here who's, I thought he was sleeping, but unfortunately when someone's outside our, our building, he has to let them know that there's someone in the house. 
I'll put together a video about him hopefully in a few weeks. I'll put, put, put it up on YouTube for you guys to see. But anyway, for now, that's it. Um, I'll load up the unboxing video and the review for each of these in the next few days. But for now, thank you. And please do subscribe to the channel and comment. Looking forward to seeing you guys and speaking to you guys later. Thank you for now. Bye.